Alright guys, this is our Renault Clio, it's a Clio Mark II, it's actually a 172 but uh, the process I'm going to show you here is exactly the same for uh, all of the other Renault Clio Mark IIs as well. As you can see, um, we have the ABS light showing on the dashboard. Now if you do have this ABS light, you'll know that it, it is also accompanied by the service light and the ESP, the traction control warning light. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the iCarSoft i907 to diagnose the fault. Um, We've already sort of hovered over our particular vehicle here, which is a Clio 2. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Clio 2, Phase 2. Uh, so we'll just click OK onto that. And we're going to just do a quick automatic search. What this automatic search does is, um, out of the modules that it can diagnose, um, it will find out which of those modules are actually diagnosed within, uh, sorry, uh, present within this vehicle and of course which ones it can actually diagnose so um, we're just waiting for it to populate a list here of any, uh, sorry, modules that we can diagnose and then we'll go in and uh, see if we can read some fault codes from this ABS warning light uh, we suspect it's going to be an ABS sensor um, that would be the cheapest fix generally only around £20 pounds. Um, the more expensive fixes or the more expensive problems could well be uh, a faulty ABS pump, a faulty ABS module as well. Um, okay, so it's populated a list here. So these are the systems that it will allow us to diagnose. Now we want to click onto the ABS. And it's going to give us an option to read codes. As you can see, we've accessed the ABS system. So the, uh, the warning lights are sort of having a bit of a frenzy at the moment. Um, but we'll just click on to read DTCs. That's diagnostic trouble codes. All right, so it's come back with DF007, and it's a rear left-hand wheel speed sensor. So it's a left hand as you're sitting in the vehicle. So this is a UK car, so it's a passenger, and it's the rear. So there's a problem with the rear ABS sensor. Now, all we really need to do is get that hooked up. Uh, once we've got the sensor, the new sensor hooked up and in place, uh, we can go come back in here, erase the trouble codes, and of course we will be able to remove the ABS lights from the dashboard. Um, so it's out of 10 I would say overall it's probably a, a 5 out of 10 job uh, you do need some maybe basic tools you obviously got to take the wheel off um, and it's just um, I think it's one Torx, Torx screw I think it's around 25 or 27 so T25, T27 something like that um, so it's pretty easy um, and this is the iCarSoft i907 which is available just by clicking the link directly below this video uh, so I hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching